Hi, welcome back to the Backpacker Coach. Today I have another special episode of Chris Kramer's and La San Froon, The Girls Missing from Panama. So in my previous video, I talked a little bit about um, Chris's hair and what was in that photo of Chris's hair. And I kind of, I don't think I did a good job of explaining a few things as well as I got a few more uh, pictures to show you to compare um, a few, few more angles. Um, I still don't think that we are anywhere close to figuring out um, exactly what angle that this photo was taken at because we'll go through that in the video of I'm just not really sure that this is exactly directly right behind her head. I, I don't believe so. But anyway, let's uh, get into this video and we can uh, discuss that in the uh, comments below of what you think. But uh, there's definitely uh, some interesting things in this photo and we're going to go over those things again to kind of just explain it a little bit better this time. Okay, so I wanted to go over this again. I wanted to kind of clarify a few things and go over a couple of the little things just because I don't think I explained this exactly very well. So the first part that I wanted to talk about, there are two wounds that are very obvious that I think that everybody should be able to easily pick out without a shadow of a doubt that there shouldn't be any problem picking this out at all. So the first one is this one. You can see right here that there's some sort of a cut right here. Okay, that is the first one. That is very obvious that that, that is a cut. And as well as you can see this area, this cut is on a clear part of the skin in respect of it's not like her scalp. There are a lot of people that said, oh, you believe that you think it's all on her scalp? No, I don't believe that this cut is on her scalp because you can see clear skin right here. So I don't believe that this has got to be somewhere else other than her scalp because there, there are no hair follicles and it would not, not look like that. So that is the first, that's the first wound that you can obviously pick out. Okay, the second one that is very clear, okay, is this one right here. You can see the, the edge of the skin. You can see the shiny part of, you know, I don't know if you want to call that muscle or not, but you can see the red and the little shiny little part of right there. It looks kind of like a shape of a kind of a circle there almost. So that you can see is clear is another wound okay and same with the other thing i do not think that this is a part of her scalp this is like somewhere on her back somewhere so those are the two that i would have to say that are very obvious that everybody should be able to agree that those are two wounds on this photograph that nobody should be able to have to argue about that at all. That's pretty obvious. You can see what that is. I mean, that's for the people who keep saying, oh, I only see hair. Well, honestly, I believe those people are blind because you can see those two wounds. Those are a hundred percent. You can't say that that's not what that is. I mean, that's obviously what that is. So then you have the third area, and like I was talking before, this area here. Now, this one might be a little bit up for more of, for debate, but like I was saying before, I am I am really very, very confident that that looks very much like muscle. So I don't know what else that could be. Obviously, there's some other stuff going on in here, like whatever we're saying, whatever this is, and whatever this is, but if it's not muscle, the only other possibility, my guess would be, would have been like, maybe like hair that has a lot of blood on it maybe, and then it's caked, caked on, on there. So that's my only other possibility that I could say that what it might be. So that's, 
those are the things that I wanted to just to specify. I more wanted to talk to you a little more about placement of where, how this kind of fits. So this is the whole photograph. And what I wanted to do was try to put a head in here and a back and kind of show you what works, what doesn't work with what I'm talking about. And, and we'll, you can discuss from there. So this is what I think the back of the head would be the size, which should, should fit for this photograph. Now, here's the problem with thinking that this is just a straight head on, just on the back of her head. So if you go back up to here, now did we lose it? Ah, there it is. It's right here. So this is the cut that we were talking about. It's over here. So obviously I don't believe that this is going to work out properly in the respect of this being uh, in the back or being, this just is not the correct angle. You know, thinking of, of it, if you're just taking the picture of the back of somebody's head, because you have, like I said, you have this cut here and you have, let me get rid of this picture for a second. And you have this cut here and you have whatever this is here. That doesn't really line up with the back of the head. It, it doesn't really seem to make sense where I would kind of place, you know, these wounds and stuff. you know, was down here. So you would have the probably part of maybe the deltoid maybe here. And you have this little wound and still, I don't know where this would what this would be a part of. I really don't know if this is, you know, up here like that or something, or maybe as a, you know, I don't know what this is a part of. It's really hard to say, you know, could it be, you know, a part of a arm or a part of a hand? It might be. Um, it's hard to say what that is. It's really hard to tell because you can only see the hair and not really anything else. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the perspective of just that this probably isn't directly just a looking at the back of somebody's head. More than likely not because there's too much stuff going on over here that's all condensed in an odd area. And I don't think that this, all this, this stuff looks definitely like her neck or some sort of a, you know, area. This probably like I was saying could be a shoulder. I'm not sure exactly what this part would be of her body, but if this is any, which, like I was saying before, you can see definitely bruising right here. And this is probably an older bruise. And you can see other red up here. But you can definitely tell that there's skin back there. You know, there's skin through here. So it's not just like scalp. So it's got to be some part of the body that is not, doesn't have, you know, like hair follicles, like, like the, her scalp would be, but it is a very, 
confusing and odd picture, definitely. And I do think that we do have to work on trying to figure out what angle this was taken because there's too much compressed in here to just be a straight flat back of her head. So there's definitely some more research that needs to be done. And I just wanted to go over that with you guys. I wanted to show you a better perspective of what it looks like when you take a picture of the back of your head with the Canon SX270 HS. And this is what it actually looks like. I went camping just this last weekend and I decided, hey, while I was out trying to take some pictures also with the uh, Canon SX270 HS for a couple other uh, videos that will be coming up soon, I thought, hey, I might as well just snap a picture of the back of my head just to see what it looks like and like what, you know, what happens. Now, if you look a little closer at uh, my photo, you can definitely tell that it's a little out of focus. So I'm not exactly sure why. Um, either a couple of good reasons is I maybe moved slightly as a possibility, or the camera didn't quite focus on what it was supposed to, which is possible. It was focusing on who knows something else and it just didn't quite focus on what it really needed to. And so it just is slightly out of focus. Um, something to keep note that this, the um, Canon SX270, it does actually switch to um, macro mode automatically, which is kind of cool. But, and it can also be very close. It could definitely be even closer than, than what we have here. But I just took a quick picture, just, you know, with, you know, put it right behind me and snapped a picture real quick. Um, and that's what I got. So just to give you an idea of a possibility of what that might look like in respect of looking at the hair picture. And like we were saying in the previous part, there was obviously some issues with, you know, this, you know, this cut and this, it still doesn't make a lot of sense of where things are. Um, something is not quite right. So I'm not exactly sure, you know, what part parts we're seeing. It's like we've said before, it's very difficult to see just because we can't really get a good idea of what we're really looking at. But I thought I would give you just at least a little bit better perspective of what it would actually look like if you just take the picture of the back of your head, you know, by which is what I did with that camera. So that's kind of just the direction of kind of what it would look like. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. So there's a couple more things that I would like to address. Um, one is this crazy idea that these Certainly this one and maybe this little area here is somehow Chris's nostrils and that's her nose, which I really do not believe that that is the case. Um, I think more of the case is there probably are bruises. I mean, you can definitely see a bruise down here and you can see a bruise here. I think this is just a little older bruise, just a little bit darker and possibly another bruise there but really do not think that that is a nose. I don't think there's enough structure, enough shading, enough anything there to say that you can definitely say that there's a nose here. I really don't, I don't, don't believe that. Um, the other thing that um, we talked a little bit about in the other video were these white weird things here and unless you know chris has a flip top head you can either get a flip top head i mean obviously they're not teeth so i don't know what else they would be i would really i want to say that some sort of you know bone sticking out is what i want to say but 
I don't know what else, you know, these white things would be sticking out of the skin. I just don't really know. Um, anyway, that's something that we still need to do more investigation on. Definitely. Um, I'm not, you know, 100% convinced, like I said in the last video, that, you know, these would be some part of, like, you know, a back, the edges of the backbone. I don't necessarily know if that's true or not. Um, but obviously there's some sort of white objects that are sticking out of her skin. So I don't exactly know what that would be. So we have more investigating to do here. There's just one more thing that I wanted to go over, and that is, in general, the hair looks very, um, I'll say, fluffy, as in it doesn't look like it has a lot of weight to it, like, like gravity isn't pulling it down. So that is another thing to consider, is that this might, you know, be not necessarily like like Chris is not sitting up. She might be somehow lying on the ground or something because this hair looks very like fluffy, like it's not doesn't have a lot of weight on it. Like the gravity isn't pulling her hair down. That's just what it sort of looks like. Anyway, that's the only other thing that I wanted to talk about. Also, for you guys that were saying that you don't believe that I ever hunted, here is a picture of me when I got an antelope when I went hunting in Wyoming. And that's the antelope that I had to skin. So, there's, there's that picture. I just wanted to show that picture just to let you know that yes I did used to hunt that is something that I just wanted to show you guys just that's not something that I made up um, I did used to, I did used to go and hunt and something I did I used to do quite a while ago back in like 2010 2015 back in that time period so anyway don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my next video